Sandy here and uh, we're going to talk about doing Eldon Car to check for ABO blood type. So this is a uh, typical package that you're going to see. The card actually comes in this foil type package. Uh, so when it comes out, it uh, looks like this. So it's important first that we document uh, who our donor is. You know, in this sort of situation at the point of injury, it's probably not necessarily important to document things like the address, but certainly maybe date of birth, just so you're aware in case you have people with the uh, same names within your unit. Document the date. You can have your donor sign this. Doesn't necessarily have to happen right now, but uh, it is important that if your donor would like to hold on to this after you get done doing the test, then they have that available that they could carry with them. So after you get done uh, putting all the appropriate information onto the card, uh, you need to have this dropper filled up with a little bit of water. Does Water does not come in the dropper. You have to have a, a small amount of water available. You're going to put one drop of water in each of the circles. So once you are done putting the water onto the uh, Elden card there, you want to go ahead and prep everything while the, the area dries. These are called uh, Elden sticks. Go ahead and get your uh, lancet. This is, again, this is a uh, twist and turn. Your donor, a nice fleshy part of the finger. You know, it's four times you're going to get Get enough blood onto the Eldon stick. Mix it with the water and mix it with the blood. Go all the way out to the edge of the circle. Most important part of this is ensuring that you use only one Eldon stick per circle. Set it to the side, get a new one. Again, get a small amount of blood onto the Elden stick. Mix it with the water. Go all the way out to the edge of the circle. Again, get a small amount of blood. Mix. So this takes a little bit of time. It doesn't necessarily need to to be in an environment that uh, is completely uh, without chaos. This can be done uh, on a boat. Uh, this can be done, you know, during tactical field care uh, very easily. Uh, but just making sure that you follow the steps and uh, probably the most important part is ensuring that you are switch out the, the Elden sticks each time. So now that we've uh, used all four Elden sticks and uh, we've mixed uh, the blood with the reagents here, we have the card that we can use to interpret what our ABO blood type is on our donor or casualty. You want to try to read this while it's still wet. So based upon the results here, we can tell that our, our donor is O positive. So what we can look at, we can see based upon this graphic here compared with his card, we want to look at the first one for anti-A, I see no agglutination. We want to look at anti-B. I see no agglutination. We we'll look at anti D, which is our age factor. I see agglutination. And this is my control. My control should always have no agglutination in it. There's a possibility that you have an invalid test, just be aware. But the secret to becoming better at reading these is to do it within your unit. So this is something to be easily done without any significant cost or significant oversight uh, at your home station.